Hey everybody, welcome back to TheClinicalTrialsGuru.com. Again, it's TheClinicalTrialsGuru.com. If you're here for the first time, welcome. Thank you very much. Make sure you subscribe, whether you're watching this on YouTube or whether you are uh, on the blog. Make sure you subscribe to both, okay? Lots of cool stuff coming out, especially on the blog, on my email list where I'm going to be launching. I'm launching three new things before this year's over and in the first quarter of 16. All right, so for those of you watching from the future, right now it's November 11th, 2015, so happy Veterans Day to everyone out there. Uh, okay, so I got a loaded question today from somebody who has an interview, uh, for a face-to-face -face interview for a clinical research position, and I'm not sure if this is for a study coordinator or for a CRA, but I'll answer, because the questions are kind of generic, so I can kind of help you answer the questions regardless of what the position is for. Okay, so first question is, what should I expect from a four-hour interview? So from a four-hour interview, it's sounding like it's more of a CRO, CRA uh, position that you're applying for. And four hours is a long time. So you might get interviewed by several different people, project managers, HR people, other CRAs, uh, clinical team leads. Uh, they're going to ask you what your experience is, how uh, you've worked with clinical research sites in the past, if at all. Were you a study coordinator before? Were you a CRA before? Did you work with investigators? Did you follow up with research sites on queries? Did you issue queries? Did you check in investigational product accountability? All the typical CRA stuff, so just be well versed on everything. All right. What technical questions should you expect? The same. GCP, uh, what trainings do you have? Do you have SOCRA? Do you have GCP trainings? Do you have um, NIH protecting human research subjects trainings in your previous role as a coordinator? Or if you were not a coordinator before, what kind of trainings and certifications do you have now? Um, number three, how to answer questions that I do not know. I don't know how you're going to answer questions you don't know. I mean, I don't understand what that means. You're going to have to get good at improv, okay? When you're when you're applying for a position, and especially when it's a four-hour interview, okay, you have to be ready for anything. So have a few phrases that you can just put in your back pocket or have up your sleeve and just bring them out when appropriate. Um, things like challenges you've, you've, you've dealt with in the past in a clinical research setting and how you overcame them. Typical problems you encountered either at a research site when you were a coordinator or as a CRA when you were going out to sites. Pull, up, pull those tricks out of your sleeve and you should be fine. Um, question four, if hired, they want to move me out to California, how do I negotiate relocation with salary, re with salary requirements? You have to look at specifically where in California they're going to send you, and then you've got to look at housing costs in that area, food costs in that area, uh, gas, living expense, basic living expenses, and then look at comparable salaries for your position in that city, okay? You can go to indeed.com. Um, you can also go to glassdoor.com and find out a little bit more about salary, salaries for, for different roles and positions in your area. Question five, how do I answer questions in relation to software I might have used? Um, okay, as you noticed, Interlinks Via is a sponsor, so they have virtual workspaces. So go to Interlinks Via website, just get a little bit get a little familiar with their product and then look at what they offer, what platforms they offer and then try to think about what softwares or platforms you've used in the past that have similar functionalities to that. Okay. Question six, how do I answer questions on contracting and budget turnaround times? So the way you answer questions on contracts and budget turnaround times, if you are a CRA and you need a research site to return their budget, you need to be able to negotiate the budget if that's going to be your role, although that's unusual because most CRAs don't get involved in negotiating budgets, so maybe you're applying as a project manager, I don't know what you're applying as. Typically, two to four weeks is the average time for a research clinic to turn around a budget and contract during negotiations. So you want to mention that you try to keep your negotiation within two to four weeks and get the contract and budget finalized, executed, closed within four weeks from the site receiving it. So whether that means repeated follow-up calls to the sites or negotiating with them and maybe relaying their concerns to your project managers or to the finance department at the CRO. 
those are the kind of answers you want to give them. Okay, and how likely will I be hired? I do not do so great at interviews. I'm open to criticism and advice. Practice, practice, practice. Have different people, friends, family, do mock interviews with you with some of these questions and with some of the other videos that I have on CRA. So just go on the blog and look up CRA questions. I have like an hour long video on what CRAs can expect during interviews. So just practice. Be ready to think on your feet. Think quickly on your feet and have a few go-to catchphrases and sentences and, and comments that you can pull out, maybe stories or examples of your previous job experiences that you can just quickly pull out and refer to when you get stuck, right? Hopefully this helps. Let me know how it goes. Dan from theclinicaltrialsguru.com. Take care.